hello everyone welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to create a chatbot for your uh, for any kind of a database but in this case i will be using sqlite using langchain and open ai so firstly you will have to go to open ai api keys you will have to generate an api key and also you will have to go to settings for uh, getting the organization identifier and here inside dot env you will have to write your open api key as well as organization id okay once you do that uh, i will show you first the output so here i have this sqlite database so uh, this sqlite database is present inside my project as well but instead of sqlite you can uh, take any kind of a database but uh, you will then have to change the logic if you are using postgres database then you will have to add the logic of connecting your app to postgres database as well though so just for simplicity i have kept it as sqlite database and here i have uh, multiple tables inside my sqlite database so here i will just take the users table uh, and here suppose i have this um, email right austin30 at example.org and i want to find the particular name for that uh, particular email uh, so what i can do is i can ask uh, this um, uh, chatbot that okay give me what is the name for this particular email okay so i'll just enter this and later on once i get this particular uh, name i also wanted to uh, generate a report for the same so i'll just uh, remove this so this was just part of my uh, debugging okay and uh, i will also remove this now i will quickly run my app sorry python main dot py and uh, in the output you should be able to see uh, what was so i think it was vanessa or something like that vanessa young and it should be able to generate the report for the same uh, an html report should be generated inside our uh, project as well so it does take a bit bit of time so here you can see uh, it has uh, like i'm using a third party library for displaying the output in a good format like this format i will show you that and here you can see it was able to predict the name for this particular email is Vanessa Young and it is now uh, writing a report for the same so here you can see it is finished writing the report and here uh, inside the report it has just taken an h1 tag uh, p tag for email which is our email and the name is Vanessa Young so here you can write any kind of uh, question so suppose if a user does not know any kind uh, does not know sql or how to write sql queries for them uh, this uh, kind of application would be very helpful to search the database so let's see how to do this so first uh, you will have to create a file called main.py uh, create requirements.txt enable the virtual environment as well uh, then you here you will have to activate the virtual environment by running this command then you will have to install langchain langchain dash open ai python dash dot env langchain dash community this pi box and will help us to display the output in this particular format like this nice format so that's why i'm using pi box and, and then you can just run pip freeze requirements dot txt then you can add all this imports okay so here i am first loading our dot env file which we had created then i am calling this uh, chat uh, model start handler which we have created over here we'll come back to that in a bit and here we are initializing our chat open ai and giving uh, this handler as a callback then uh, we are calling this uh, list tables so for that uh, we had created this sql file as well which we will come back to in a bit and here uh, i have just telling the some default instruction to our chat prompt template that you are an ai that has an access to sqlite database the table the database has tables of all these tables uh, so it uh, fetches all the tables which are present inside our database okay and don't make any assumptions all that kind of stuff variable name is chat history and human message prompt uh, input and here messages placeholder is agent scratch but then i am taking some conversation buffer memory as well so that it remembers uh, what we have uh, written previously so here we are firing two commands right so based on this comma based on this command it needs to generate a report for the same that's why we are using conversation buffer memory and for tools i have just created run query tool describe table tool and write report tools and here while creating the create open ai function agent i am just passing our llm 
which is chat tools as well as our prompt then we are creating our agent executor by passing the agent tools as well as the memory and here you can now write however however many commands you want so this is how you uh, write a qa type of chatbot uh, next what you will have to do is you will have to create a folder called handle handlers inside that i have created this file called chat model start handler dot py and here i have imported first base callback handler as well as our library pyboxon and here uh, just created this method so this it can take any number of input arguments as well as keyword arguments and here i have created our class which has a method called on chat model start so as soon as our chat model start we are printing this sending messages and if the message is of type system then we are giving it a color of yellow and here we are displaying our message content as well as message type similarly if it is a human we are giving it a color of green same thing displaying content as well as message type and if it is an ai or function call uh, then we are uh, just uh, doing this running tool uh, giving it a color of cyan similarly for ai if it is just ai then giving it a color of blue if it is a function giving it a color of purple otherwise uh, just keeping it simple okay uh, next you will have to go to tools and here i have created first report.py which will help us to generate the html report so i have imported structure tool as well as a base tool and here i am just created a function called write report and here uh, we are calling open the file name uh, we are writing it and writing an html to it and here i have created one class which takes a file name and html as string and here we are just initializing our uh, write report tool from function so the name is write report description function here we are just passing our write report function and for uh, argument schema we are just passing this class name then we have a sql.py file as well uh, over here um, so this will help all the database connectivity and getting the list of tables so here we are connected to our db.sqlite so if you are using some other uh, database uh, you will have to first install the driver for it and then try to connect it okay so just for simplicity i have kept it db.sqlite then i have created a, a method called list tables here we are connecting to our database and getting the name from our sqlite master where type equal to table fetching list of all tables uh, then here we are running a sqlite query so we are first creating a connection cursor executing our query fetching everything here uh, we have created a class called run uh, query argument schema which will be used inside run query tool so i have given it a name a description and the function of run sqlite query uh, this is the method for describing uh, tables so again making a connection to it you are passing your tables and here i am executing our uh, sql statement for it the same and then returning it back to the user and here i have created a, a class called describe table arc schema which we are passing as an argument schema over here and here I, we are just calling tools dot from function we are giving it a name description and func equal to describe tables and here we are just passing our argument schema uh, so here i have also embed, like dragged and drop our db dot sqlite and i've already shown you main.py so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye